What's going on YouTube? My name is Pablo and I am a car addict. Thank you for joining me on this video. I want to bring you guys something a little bit different today. And I wanted to bring you guys a full walkthrough of the 2020 Jeep SRT showing you all of the features and everything the car has to offer. From the body styling to the wheels and tires to the interior to the engine, pretty much I want to give you guys a full thorough walkthrough of the car for anybody who might be in the market for getting one of these cars. I wanted to give you guys a fully informed, honest portrayal of the car. So let's go. So yeah, this is a 2020 Jeep SRT, silver, um, really beautiful. I really love how the front bumper, the hood, I love these little scoops in the car over here, really beautiful. Um, just has a really nice stance to it. Obviously I don't have it lowered, but I mean, that's something I don't think I wanna do, um, have the, Brembo brakes, Brembo brakes, I'm sorry, which are phenomenal. Uh, as you can see, it has a little bit of brake dust on it. I do drive the car pretty hard. Right now I have uh, Continental Extreme contacts on them. The uh, DWSs, which for anybody who has one of these cars or is on run flats, I highly suggest this tire. It's phenomenal. Uh, you know, I've had them on various, various cars and they're really, really good tires. Um, but yeah, pretty much this is the car. I love how the body styling accentuates all of the lines, if you can tell. The hood and the little scoops and then the front bumper, really beautiful. Um, it's a really, really nice car. It's a car that is understated. It's not like a supercar that's in your face or anything that's like obnoxious obviously you know with the mods that i've done to it it sounds a little obnoxious but overall it's just a really awesome and comfortable and beautiful car it's a good size it's a really good size really comfortable inside you know my wife is super comfortable which is a huge plus for me and i can have the dog in the back you know also very comfortably dual exhaust not the quad pipes I really would like the car to have quad pipes, but it doesn't. But either way, I always love a car with a dual exhaust, so this is no exception. I did the Borla Type S on the car, um, and I had them powder coated black. They're a little dirty right now, but if you guys can see, they're powder coated black, which is really nice. It adds a nice touch to it. Rear bumper has a nice little black fascia on it, really, really nice. And I really love these uh, reflectors down here. I think it adds a nice uh, touch, you know, to the car. So, yeah, that's the exterior of the car. Really beautiful. A lot of nice lines. Um, I got the car wrapped in the uh, 3M wrap down here, you can tell. Got the 3M wrap over here all the way down. Uh, onto the quarter panels, onto the fenders over here, some parts of the door. You know, just to protect the car, I have this part as well over here with the 3M wrap, a little dirty, that's okay. And uh, yeah, this is the car in the exterior. Really, really nice, really comfortable. Um, you know, what screams SRT to me is the front bumper. You know, this thing is like, beautiful like when you get in front of it it just really really looks like mean and nice and, and i love it i love how this car looks when it's rolling and i've seen a couple of srts on the road and it's understated classy and just overall really beautiful so yeah moving to the interior of the car this is the interior of the car you got some nice uh I believe this is um, Alcantara, and if it's not, it really feels like it. Got Alcantara here, got Alcantara on the top over here, really, really nice. These SRT um, floor mats are actually really durable. They uh, get dirty quite quickly, but they wash up really nice. Regular door, nothing crazy here. All your uh, controls, really, really nice. I like that it has a red uh, seatbelt 
kind of adds a nice sporty touch to it. And the back, a lot of leg room, a lot of leg room. This is me getting in right now. I'm a five foot nine guy, weigh a hundred and actually 200 pounds now, believe it or not. I don't like that, but that's the truth. And I have a lot of leg room over here. Really comfortable, nice leather seats. Nice leather seats here, over here as well. These have the Alcantara, um, Alcantara inserts over here. And also we've got the red uh, seat belt over here. And really comfortably, if there's a passenger in the back seat, you know, they can mess with the, uh, with the heating and the cooling and stuff here. There's also a plug. There's also a plug right here, which is awesome. If you have to charge your phone back here. And it has rear heated seats, which, wow, I didn't even, I forgot that it had this. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it has rear heated seats. So if anybody's back here and on a cold day, really comfortable. Um, my wife's seat is a little bit pushed back just for her comfort. So I'm not gonna scooch over here because I wouldn't be very comfortable. But this is a panoramic sunroof, which I will show you guys in a little bit, you know, once I move it back. That's really awesome. And, and again, this whole roof situation is Alcantara or something like that. I have a security guard about to get me out of here. Yeah, so the Alcantara over here, just had to get the security guard and let him know that everything is okay. Alcantara up here, really nice. It goes all the way back. It goes, hold on a second. It goes all the way back to the trunk, which is really nice as well. So that's cool. Let me rearrange my camera here. Just want to give you guys some real time stuff. Um, yeah, I'm kind of comfortable back here. Uh, Got to clean this a little bit. So yeah, that's the rear seat. Moving to the trunk. Let me get this camera situated. So moving to the trunk, you know, it's really cool because on the key, you know, you can pop it open, right? Let's close this up here. So you pop the trunk. I mean, you know, this is a cool feature for me. I still find it, I still find these little conveniences to be very, very cool because it's just so easy for me to like walk up to the car, pop the trunk, drop my stuff. Really ample storage space. A lot of ample storage space when i go on road trips i'm able to fit you know two big suitcases and like personal stuff and waters and groceries and just throw everything in here i would never had an issue fitting anything the only thing i couldn't fit was a treadmill which didn't go all the way but i guess that makes sense um this is usually for a spare tire however as you can see i don't have a spare tire so i just kind of have my you know windshield wiper fluid and my extra my spare pcm over here and just you know snow tools and whatever nonsense is under here this is just like my you know my dirty closet of the car pretty much so this is the trunk uh super comfortable super comfortable fits anything if you got to go on road trips if you you know live a life that you need to load stuff or haul stuff back and forth um really really comfortable this thing here sorry this thing here is i guess the uh what do you call this the i guess the protector or the cover if you have something of value in the trunk so that'll close and uh you know give you a sense of privacy in the back i've never really used it and honestly i've brought it out of the car various times but i want to keep it in to show you guys all of the all the features that the car has um all right let's get this back you got the rear trunk lid closer thing here some hooks for you know for safety if you have to tie some things up which is really cool you also have another plug another plug back here a uh, 12 volt plug which is cool and some speakers so that's that close up the trunk and what else we got I spoke about the tires spoke about the wheels any questions guys if you guys are liking this video smash up those like buttons please should have said that sooner but hope you made it this far sorry for the noise in the back we are in new york city unfortunately 
um, let us move to the inside of the car, to the driver's seat. So if you guys have watched my videos, you will know that I do POV driving pretty much with the same exact setup that I got right now. And so I'm not going to turn the car on yet, but I will, um, but I will turn it on a little bit. I guess the ignition just to show you guys whatever it has. Um, let's see. And if you can zoom in on the video, maybe so, you know, you have your first screen here. Music, whatever, AM, FM, Sirius XM, which I am not signed up for. Um, and then you will see if you touch source select, you'll be able to do Bluetooth, which my phone is hooked onto Bluetooth right now. Or any USBs that you want to plug in, like any phones of, you know, yourself or maybe passengers. You just pop this open and you plug them into these two USBs right here. Sorry for the mess in here. That little dirty closet of mine. So, you got those USBs over here. Another little good storage nook on top, you know, for any, like, coins or, you know, whatever. This this is a parking pass. So, that's comfortable. Coffee holders or water or whatever, fluid holders or change or whatever the hell you have in your hand. You can just dump it here. I usually put my cell phone here or, you know, my keys or whatever. Um, you got the... Uh, armrest which is fucking freaking awesome you know i just feel like super comfortable just chilling driving that's really nice um you know you have another uh storage compartment here with uh i think you have another yeah you have another 12 volt uh plug in there and you can just literally this is like huge you can stuff a lot of stuff in here this is like a woman's bag like I'm sure you can just like throw and throw and throw to be endless in here. So I got some, you know, charging cables and tire pressure thing and some hand sanitizer. I have the wheel lug nut in here. It's comfortable. And it has another little compartment on top of here, which will have, you know, whatever else you need, like maybe passes of some sort or anything else. I have some camera, whoop, and a lighter. I have some camera, um, tools and utensils in here so that's pretty cool so moving on have your climate control which right now the car is not on but yep yeah, there we go so you have your heated seat your vented seat which is really nice for um for uh, summer days when you want some cool air on your butt and on your back really nice and the heated wheel really really nice backup camera settings and the passenger also has heated and vented seats. And I don't know what the settings is. Yeah, turn vehicle on. Okay, yeah, I got to turn the car on. That's fine. So your controls, well, pretty much same thing it would show me. I'm going to show you guys a little bit. You have all your apps, uh, you know, your driving, your drive mode, SRT, um, your SRT dashboard, um, Wi-Fi hotspot, which I got to set up emergency calls, SOS, assist, all this cool stuff. Um, performance pages, which pretty much shows you like all the SR. You know what, let me turn the car on. We get a cold start out of this, let's see. All right, there we go. Now I can show you everything. Uh, you can hear a little cold start, which is really nice. All right, so back to this. So you got SRT drive mode, which pretty much you can select all of the um, all of the modes that you want to drive the car on. So transmission, I like to keep it in street mode and sport mode for the steering to make it um, more responsive. So pretty much, you know, you here here you can do the same. You can put it in sport mode, track mode, which I don't do very much. Um, snow mode and the tow mode i guess i don't know what that is i guess when you have something uh heavy in the back this button here the drive modes um probably brings you to this let me click it oh no this is different okay so you have all the drive modes you have the shift light if you're gonna you know uh you know do a launch control pretty much and then you can do from here go back here 
and do a custom setting, which I haven't really customized it, so it just goes to all street. But you know, I'll pop it back. I'll pop it back into sport mode here. It'll reset that if you see, and then I put it back in auto. Put in sport. Now everything is in sport mode. Sport mode is really nice. Sport mode is, I think, one of my favorite modes. Everything is a little bit more snappy and more stiff. It's really, really nice. And then you put it back to auto over here with the knob, and it just goes back to like street mode and all that stuff. So that's that's really nice as well. Um, let's see. Getting back to the apps. So much stuff. I mean, I haven't even tapped into to a lot of this stuff, honestly. Um, what do you got here? You know, climate control, which we can go into now. Now you have like either for your body, body and feet, only feet, feet and up, defrost or whatever it's called, and up to seven. Um, this heating and AC system is awesome. It's really, really awesome. It gets super hot. Let me turn this thing off in a little bit because it's really nice out tonight. Um, it's really hot and it's really cold. It's really, really good. You're definitely not going to suffer from, you know, heat or cold in this car. You might be either really hot or you might be either really cold. So it's good. You got to find a good balance. So that's that. Uh, we'll go back to the apps. What else you got here? Yeah, heated wheel, backup cam, which was showing me the backup cam right now, which is really useful. Um, Bluetooth media, you know, same thing that we saw just now. My phone is connected. Navigation screen, you do the full navy, you know, where you go in, showing the map, setting home, setting work. It's actually a pretty good navy and it's helped me on, you know, road trips where I don't have a lot of cell phone service. So that's a good thing. Um, so let's see, we got nav. Oh yeah, the nav is actually right here as part of the menu. So these are kind of like your most commonly used things i'm not sure if you could customize that i would be curious to know if any of you guys have this car and have customized this or or like you know any srt mopar for that sense that has this system um, if you can customize that i would, would be curious to know how if you can let me know that'd be awesome so where were we we were on apps settings controls we did all that settings is pretty much just everything like camera and safe uh, let me see go back and uh you know mirrors and wipers and like everything you can imagine that you want to mess with on the car is here um not gonna bother going through it but you know it, pretty much everything you can all the computers all the computer settings you can you can mess with and um and go from here <sighs> What else we got here? Let's see. Next page is audio settings. I mean, you know, I don't really care. The thing sounds good to me in all in all states. So I don't really bother messing with the EQ. But for any of you guys that are audio audio fanatics, you can do that as well. Um, and yeah, the car just, you know, it's a very simple, intuitive car to use. You know, you have the cruise control over here, which you can just turn on and off. And you can mess with the speed through here. I use that more so on road trips with eco mode over here to save a little bit on gas. So I tap the eco mode. You gotta turn the damn heat off, it's getting hot. There we go. I turn on the eco mode, I put it in cruise control and I cruise at like 75 and then only then do I get to like, you know, 14, 15 miles per gallon. I think I saw a rating a rating that this car gets like 18 and 25 which uh, i think that's bonkers um there's no way i mean i'm sure i mean uh, you know maybe some people have gotten 18 or 25 uh miles per gallon but uh, if you see my average here i'm getting 10.3 miles per gallon average that's about that's about right for me i'm um, usually between 8 and 10 <laughs> And I have a heavy foot and my wife always tells me to slow the hell down and I'm like, okay, baby I love you. I know don't worry and she's right. She's not wrong, but you know, I don't know I just love the sound of this thing um, So it's getting back here. You got your paddle shifters over here behind where I'm touching over here. You have your uh, volume Let's see. Oh, no, sorry that th so uh, so this one is um, 
track next track and this one on the right is volume so I'll put it back down so I don't get any copyright infringements um, yeah so what else you got your AC vents you got your lighting controls over here for automatic and on off you have your AC vent here I have this phone clip which if you can see I'm moving it really hard it's not moving it's pro clip USA really nice piece that I added it's so comfortable um, I pretty much uh, let me try to get my cell phone here it's like literally like just slide it in done and just like awesome like this is so user-friendly because I'm driving and I uh, um, I don't feel like I have to like look down for like instructions directions like everything is right here so this is a really nice mod that I did uh, cost me about a hundred and uh, hundred and fifty or sixty out the door might be a little bit more I'm, I'm not sure at this moment but it was really it's really it's a really good piece it really beats any of those um, other Amazon pieces that you could get and it clips all the way in to the back of the vent like it just it's crazy solid it's really really solid so it's really nice um and yeah like everything is just i don't know what these buttons do here um i think this might be like call on call off and i'm not sure what this one i've never used these to be honest and i've never used these so i don't know what these buttons do i don't know what these buttons do so i can't speak to that but um yeah well over here too oh cool let's let's take a look at this one so here's your panoramic roof right i'm sitting in the car i'm having a hard time showing you fully here's your panorama panoramic roof and i'm going to press this one on the right to bring back the screen right let's see and i can click it back again oh no wait i'm sorry wait 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 wait, wait. hold on all right so that goes there and then this button here the first one what am i doing oh there we go the top one and it goes all the way back which is really nice if you want to just chill like look up and you know look at the sky and all that stuff that one's really nice that's a really nice feature and then pretty much the sunroof opens up to there and i can push it back again and it goes up to there so it's a nice size sunroof and like it's really nice you know it's really nice and comfortable you have a little net that comes up here for wind or whatever or to protect from dust or rocks or whatever so that's really cool and then i'm going to press this back again to close it right and then i can put the vent i can click the middle button here the middle button vent and it just opens up a little bit over here to let some air in which is also nice on like cooler days so that's really comfortable i'm gonna close i'm gonna put it down to close it and i'm gonna leave the uh i'm gonna leave the sunroof thing screen push back because i like how it looks and uh oh man my shoulders hurt from maneuvering that one and uh what else we got here Let's see what else I can show you guys. Um, yeah, all of the all of the buttons for the AC, you know, the volume control, one, two, three, four, five, hot or cold, um, defrost front or back, um, recirculation. You got to click on the air conditioning from here if you want AC. Uh, I don't know what the P on and P off. I think parking distance control i guess when you get close to something and uh it lets you know that you're close to something i would imagine that's that i took off the lane lane switcher notifier thing it was pretty annoying it was pretty annoying for me and i do sometimes go here um i take the traction control off just to i don't know i'm sure it's not going to do anything but just to have some fun in my head just to make it as you know to kind of loosen up the tires a little bit 
Um, I'm gonna turn the car off and give you guys a tour of the engine bay. And then I'm gonna turn the car back on and uh, let you guys hear the exhaust, even though, you know what, I probably can't hit the exhaust with myself in the car and have to have somebody else do it, but that's okay. So you have your gas tank button here. You have your OBD2 port right up here if you need to go like plug some computer in there. And then you have your engine, your trunk, your uh, hood lid opener right here. So let's click that. All right, I always have a hard time finding where the little notch is. Give me a second while I play with it over here. There we go. Okay, done. All right, and here is the belly of the beast. A little dirty, granted, but this is that beautiful 6.4 liter Hemi 392 V8. It's awesome, man. Awesome. Have a uh, catch can, oil catch can from Billet uh, Technology. I got it sprayed in a, in a red. Really beautiful. Um, so nice. I mean, dirty as hell because I drive and I'm in the city. Have a have a cold cold air intake over here, which is a little bit dirty. I got to get that cleaned. Yeah, I got to get that cleaned during my next visit. Um, windshield wiper fluid over here. I'm no expert. Granted, uh, I'm not claiming I'm some mechanic. I'm not. I want to learn about this stuff. And my wife was like, you have the time. Stop being lazy. I'm like, you're fucking absolutely right. I am being lazy. So I own that. But yeah, this is, this is the beast. This is the beast. And it's, oh, cool. You can see my long tube headers right there i had them shot in a uh, high reflective stainless steel and they go down but this is the engine um it's just an awesome car it's a freaking awesome car and i regret not getting into american car sooner because i would have gotten this a long time ago when i needed something comfortable but i was you know refusing to uh look at american cars until i drove a uh 2019 Camaro SS, which I was like, this is freaking awesome. Get rid of this little leaf over here. And yeah, that is the engine bay. So, you know, it doesn't look, doesn't have like crazy carbon fiber or like, you know, beautiful freaking, you know, covers and this and that. It's just, it is what it is. Black and white, it's a beast of an engine and awesome it's freaking awesome it's really really awesome this car um really want to take care of it for a long time and you know give it all the maintenance that it needs and just uh really treat it nice because it's really makes me really really happy so let's close up this lid all right that's good and just want to give you guys again another little walk through a little walk around let you see the body again. Um, if you guys have, uh, you know, I know that I always speak so positively of this car, but if you guys watch one of my videos, pros and cons of the Jeep SRT, um, I'll definitely, you know, there in that video, I, um, I speak about some of the cons of this car that I see. Not many, but, you know, every car is not perfect. And just... From here, what I can say to you is one of the cons of this car is the freaking gas mileage. But other than that, you know, I really don't see myself selling this car for any egregious reason that makes me unhappy. You know, I plan on maintaining it for a very long time. Um, you know, if you guys are in the market for one of these cars, I really suggest that you get out and you test drive one. And you you know, drive it for once or twice or three times, see how you feel, see how it makes you feel. You know, if the car has high mileage, I think the best thing you can do is um, make sure that any owner, any previous owner has service records. So you know 
what was changed, you know, where it was done. You can go and you can verify it. And you can kind of estimate what you're going to need to do to it. Because, you know, having a car is, is you're going to have to maintain it. You can't just drive it forever and not change anything. And that involves, you know, oil changes and filters and so many little things that go into keeping a car running tip top. Um, you know, this car is out of warranty. It's a Canadian SRT, which I bought from a dealership in Minnesota. And, you know, the dealership had said to me that, you know, the car did have warranty and the warranty was acceptable here in the States, which was a big fat effing lie. Because when I took it to the Jeep dealership, they were like, oh, the car's out of warranty. It's a, you know, Canadian VIN number and, um, you know, the warranty doesn't apply here in the States. I'm like, oh, great. That's awesome. So I got to pay out the ass for this service visit, you know. But it is what it is. I'm happy with the car. Um, I found a great mechanic in Queens, NYC. Uh, TNA Motorsports, if any of you guys are local to NYC or even Jersey or Connecticut or other places that are not far from the city, TNA Motorsports, Allen, really awesome, honest guy that just wants to make you happy and keep the car running. And he really goes into it like a doctor. Like he kind of zoned out and was like, Okay, pop, 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 pop. just kind of ignored me. He just got the problem and got to work. He got it done in like three hours. Really, really awesome. And really affordable for what I, you know, for the services that he gives. So, yeah, man. Yeah, guys and girls, sorry about that. Um, that's my review. That's the walk around of the Jeep SRT. 2020 Jeep SRT WK2 Grand Cherokee SRT. Really phenomenal, awesome car. Um, if you guys are in the market, I hope this video is useful to you guys. If I missed anything, please let me know. If you guys made it this far, smash up those like buttons, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for helping me get to a thousand subscribers. Uh, please stay tuned. I will be in Florida.